so the temperatures are freezing. There are raindrops or snowflakes falling outside, and there are icicles on your window pane. And you cringe as you look outside on the weather because now it's time to go outside and run. But on the bright side, running in this uncomfortable opportunity will make you a stronger athlete. The blue on my shirt symbolizes the coldness of winter. Here are some tips to help you handle the cold so it's not such a painful experience every winter. I haven't ran in the snow before, but I ran in some hardcore rain. So now I will share with you my experiences and what other things I have found, especially for you hardworking athletes that will train through any So number one is to warm up. Working out on cold muscles makes it easier for you to pull on those wonderful muscles. Plus, warming up will make you feel warmer, so you're more willing to step outside. And for example, for me, when it's cold outside and I'm running for home, I like to dance around in my room with music until I warm up, and then I'll feel ready and warmed up to go outside, so it's not that uncomfortable. And when I was in high school, I would jog a few laps on the track with a really thick jacket on. And then after a few laps, I would feel warm enough to take it off to finish my run in the neighborhood. So I don't have to carry it around with Number two is to dress appropriately. Dress like it's going to be 20 degrees warmer when you go for a run. Because sometimes if you overdress, it becomes really hot and it becomes really uncomfortable because it keeps sweating everywhere. You just can't run. You have to carry around all this stuff. So don't wear too much or don't wear too little or else you'll freeze too. So when it's about 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, since it never really gets colder in California, and hopefully it never does, I like to wear capris that go up to your ankle or knees or running tights that cover your whole wonderful legs to keep them all wonderfully warm. And I also like to wear a long sleeve shirt, like a light one preferably, over my t-shirt. And I like to get the fitted kind of pants because otherwise your pants will constantly sway against your legs when you run and it gets really annoying. I feel like it weighs you down too. But if I'm doing like a track workout, I would just like to wear the extra layers when I warm up and then take off my long sleeve shirt and I'll wear shorts underneath my pants and then go do the wonderful workout. And usually when it's cold and I can't feel my hands, I like to wear my gloves as well. And sometimes I like to wear a hat as well because most of your body heat escapes from your hat. tip is to be seen. Thanks to daylight savings, it is more likely to be dark when you run, especially if you, your practice is after school. So I like to wear neon colors and be extra conscious of cars and use the crosswalk, don't jaywalk. And I always wave at drivers to thank them and to make sure they see me when I'm crossing the street in front of them. But if it's really dark outside, you can also wear a headlamp or carry a flashlight. My fourth tip is to how to deal with the rain. Even though we're in a drought here in California, but it still rains sometimes. And I like to wear a light waterproof jacket over my t-shirt. And shorts if it's over 60 degrees, about over 60 degrees. If it feels good enough to wear shorts, I'll just wear shorts. Or running capris or tights when it's too cold. And in high school, I would have some extra clothes with me in my locker. So after practice, I would immediately change out my wet clothes and wear my warm, nice, dry clothes and feel good. Because they're warm and they make me feel dry and awesome and warm and comfortable. But in college, since my practice is in the morning and I live in the dorm, I can shower right away and change into warm clothes so I can feel even more comfortable. And my fifth tip, is to wear sunscreen. Even though it might be cloudy and you feel like there's no sun outside, you should still wear sunscreen because there is still sun and you need to protect your wonderful skin from all those ultraviolet lights because you don't want to get skin cancer. Also, if it's snowing, it's white. So the light intensity is extremely intense because the light reflects on the white to the snow back to your skin and you want to protect your wonderful skin. And my sixth tip, is to take it easier because sometimes when it's really cold outside 
the track will have ice patches or the ground will have ice patches over them. And you don't want to slip and you need to be careful. And you need to make sure you see those ice patches. And when it's colder, your muscles are a lot unhappy because they're a lot stiffer. And they don't really want to move even though you already warmed up. It's a good idea to go a bit easier just in case you don't want to pull anything. So on those days, it is better to do a workout on a treadmill or if you're really lucky and you have it in my seventh tip is to drink water. Doesn't mean you're not losing any water. You lose a lot of water when it's dry too. In a way, we're kind of like plants in going through transpiration because when it's dry, there's negative water potential on the outside, and usually water wants to move from positive to negative water potential. Therefore, it diffuses out through your respiratory system or through your skin through osmosis. That's why you want to drink water. And my eighth tip is how to race in the cold because sometimes in high school one of my cross country races was at 7 a.m. I think it started at 7.15 a.m. in the morning. It was Clovis actually in California at the wonderful Woodward Park and we had to get there to the course around 5 something a.m. We had to warm up at around 6 a.m. and it was pitch black and it was dark and it was cold and it was about 40, 50 degrees. So I warmed up in like four layers. I wore probably like two t-shirts or like one t-shirt, two long sleeve shirts, one big sweater, and two pairs of pants. I would wear like a pair of sweatpants on top of a pair of running tights. So it keeps my wonderful legs extra warm. And about 15 minutes before my race, I would start taking my removing my layers because taking my clothes off sounds kind of awkward and then starting to do strides, drills, stretching, warm up and all that good fun stuff and trying to make myself really happy because I'm just about to run in the cold isn't that so exciting? but I see some other people wear their layers until the gun like a minute before the race starts but for me I like to get used to the cold first and when I'm warmed up of course and then I like to be like a healthy like mentally prepared for a race and then I like to go because it makes me feel more comfortable. When I'm comfortable, I race better. So do whatever makes you feel comfortable. And sometimes when I'm running really hard in the cold, I can't feel my whole arm and it's just so uncomfortable, so freezing and it's just blah. So I see some other people wear like arm sleeves. I think they're like compression stuff. I'm not sure they actually like compress or just like wraps around you. I personally never tried them before but I want to try them one day so my arms don't feel like they're falling off and I can't feel them. It just does not feel very pleasant. It was also about 50 degrees that day and I ended up running about a minute personal record in the 5k on that course so who knows what the cold can do you know like it could either some people think it slows them down some people it speeds them up because I usually run slower in the cold because I feel uncomfortable and unhappy but that day I was thinking happy thoughts so I guess it just really has to do with the mindset which leads me to my ninth tip is to be motivated because even though it just seems really cold and disgustingly gross outside which is so uncomfortable you just don't want to go outside you want to sleep in your hole and curl up your accomplish those goals and in order to accomplish those goals we have to run the code and just think happy thoughts and everything will be okay and my 10th and final tip is so whether you should run when you're sick usually I heard that if you your symptoms are neck up and you're just sniffling and you're you should be okay to run but if they're neck down and you're sick, you're sniffling, your head is aching, and your body is aching, and you're just feeling kind of gross. I think you should stay away from working out or running, in the cold especially, because it could worsen your symptoms. And exercise is still stress to your body. If you stress out your body, it will not be happy, so it won't heal. So you better just stay in bed 
and go on Tumblr or something or watch YouTube videos and just chill, relax, and Anyways, rest. That concludes my wonderful video. I hope you achieve success in your wonderful life. I will link my wonderful blog down below and my wonderful Instagram down below. And keep thinking happy thoughts and I hope you all have a wonderful day!